final. But who's going to be joining them in this one? We get to enjoy it now. Here in Manchester, Beth Munro of Great Britain. Well, she's up against Elena Savinskaya, the all-neutral athlete. Will Savinskaya be inspired? Or will it be Beth delivering yet more success? Referees are ready. I'm sure you are fight fans as well. Well, there's Joe Lane. Took the bronze in the contest earlier on. Couldn't take the title, though. But Beth will be doing his best. And rank number one, the Paralympic silver medalist, European champion, and Veracruz gold medalist striding in. And she's in fine form, Beth Monroe. Yeah, I think she's a true inspiration. You told me that I think she started to train like on the one year before that's Olympics. Right. Wow, that's so inspirational. I think she has to be a big motivation, inspiration for all younger generation to be in the top level after only one year. You have to have motivation, persistence, everything to be a champion like her. Well, speaking of motivation and persistence, Elena Savinskaya will need all of that. She can't listen to the reputation. She has to look at the skills herself. Cecil Air overcome 8-2. And a Silva de Moura from Brazil, 24-18. So it's a good run so far. Savinskaya, will she be inspired? Can she go one better and take out Beth Munro? Su Kyung, the centre referee, will bring them to attention this one. And of course, speaking of attention, it's about the fighters now. They'll do one more little test. You can see a height difference. It's not always a height advantage. You have to know how to use it. And these little tests are just to make sure that the protector's working. Park Su Young says Chung Hong. And the fighters are ready. Beth Munro up on her toes. Always loves to get up into that close distance. Good work so far. Seven Skaya covering well. Plenty of encouragement from the British fans in the crowd. And of course, the big occasion for the home nation. Bess Munro circling, tries the back leg turning kick. Oh, I'm loving her, her footwork. This is the first female fighter that she's using steps, she's using fake and. Sometimes it's confusing. <laughs> you, you, you cannot feel the distance when someone has the really good footwork. So I think this is a good start for Beth. Even though it's 0-0, she's trying all the time. And as you see, that footwork paying off because you see Seven Skies back kick coming, controlling the distance, back leg turn the kick lands. Uh, good one. She tried two more times. The first one was strong enough, but 2-0 lead. And a few whoop, whoop, whoops from Amy Truesdale. The fans and indeed fighters, she's coming up later on. A big call of come on, Beth, from the fans in the crowd here in Manchester. Savinskaya trying to keep it close, though. She's doing well. She's not giving away any distance. She's not giving away, but you can see Brett. Beth is composed all the time, trying with back leg turning kick. Scored one time. So, good start couple of good fakes as well. Front leg change. Uh, good distance, good strength, 4-0. Keep that movement up, make them miss, was the call from the crowd. Make them miss, make them pay. Move them, bemuse them, confuse them. Couple of minutes gone, four up. Beth Munro looking very calm indeed. Elena Savinskaya, can she change things up a little bit here? She wants to get a little bit closer in, like here, and work. Decent idea. Decent idea, but for me, she's not trying in this moment so hard. I know 4-0, it's not, it's not a big difference, but we need to see more from her. Beth is doing great, great footwork steps all the time, trying opportunity, but we have 50% of match. It's still still going time, on, yeah. Yes. You're exactly right, half a minute to go, and right on that timeout is called from the red corner. They need to adjust things now. Of course, we see Elena Savinskaya, we've mentioned there the adjustments that she needs to make in that close distance, but of course, back in the British blue corner, 
Bess Munro carrying the pressure of the host nation, but she just looks so relaxed. Yeah, she's relaxed. She has her family, I think, in the crowd. It, for her, I think it's more motivation than pressure. She's good, she's composed, trying all the time, 4-0 lead, doesn't make mistakes. You can see her face. She's not tired, so she's listening. She's in, in the zone. She's in the zone and she's listening to Andrew Deere, of course, Commonwealth Taekwondo champion in the Olympic variety, proceeding over the development of the Para Taekwondo <laughs> team. A very strong team indeed, but a very strong start from Beth Munro. Can she finish this out here? Halfway through, Elena Savinskaya, can she fire back into this one? A little bit more movement there from the fighter in red. Signs of aggression, good, good back leg from Beth. Good back leg, <laughs> she pushed her in the clinch. One more time, the same 8-0. She was well rested now in this time out, so four more points in the first 10 seconds. And just when Elena Savinskaya might have thought, OK, I've got some ideas, I'll come back, I'll change things up. She's twice as many points down as just before the pause, and not pausing for thought is Monroe. Eight up now. And she's eating up the scores and the time on the clock. Well, it's never easy to climb a Monroe, but she's off into the mountains now. This was a solid shot, but still not good enough to score. Good power from Elena Savitskaya, trying with the back kick. Decent attempt, a minute and a half to go. You can see now Beth is confident, 10-0. Savitskaya didn't score in this final match for now. She has opportunity now, one minute more, but 10-0 is a big lead. Beth is enjoying the, this final match. To win gold medal at home with your friends and, friends and family, I think it's the best, best way to finish the year. Speaking of finishing the year, trying to finish in Seoul. Helena Savinskaya fires a couple of points on the board now, 10 to two. But it's 50 seconds to go. Beth Monroe has dominated the show here. Closes with the front leg as we close into the business end of this one now. She's blocking, attacking all the time with back leg turning kick. Did not score, but just you have to hold on for 30 seconds more and you will have a gold medal around your neck. But two more to extend the lead. Well, the gold medal is heading towards Beth Munro. It's been brilliant from Beth in blue. She's battled. She's been clean and clear. The footwork has been imperious. The quality will send the fans delirious. She's got the skills. She's got the gold medal as well. Beth Munro adding yet more silverware to an amazing career, setting up a possible performance at the Paralympics in Paris, where she took silver. She'd be a good bet for gold on form like that. Brilliant from Beth and richly deserved. Oh, well deserved. You can see, I think especially every year you have competition in Manchester and this is opportunity for...